Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, what the? Do you... Oh. Oh hell no. Are you serious? Are you fucking with me? No. No. Man no, let me no, see. No, Manches. No! And then here's what we're supposed to be plugging into. Good morning, guys. It's Melissa. Yesterday, the UPS truck dropped off our conveyor dryer. So, guess what? We're doing a video on putting our conveyor dryer together. It's a Vastex D1000. We didn't want to go any bigger because our garage won't <laughs> fit it in there. <laughs> but. Let's check it out. You guys want to see how packed it is in here? Oh. Came with five boxes. D1000 infrared curing system. There's those pieces, and then the other pieces are in the back, but it's just packed in here already. We need it. We're over curing all of our shirts with a flash dryer. It just takes too long, so this will help us out a lot. So it comes with a manual. If you're getting the D100 or the D1000, we have the D1000. And you have all your parts right here, which we have. And then we just gotta put them together. So let's do this. I wanna show you guys this part. There is like a two by four right there. So you just have to unscrew it. Well, I got the wrong head, but unscrew it on both sides. And then this one also has it too, but it's on the bottom. The wood or take the wood out. That one doesn't have a screw, but this one has a screw. I'm the manual doesn't even want to take the, of the wood part. I think I'm okay. I think I just lift up. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, take out the wood part. You could probably use it for something. Okay. Now we have to connect these two parts together. This might help you guys if you have a 10 inch extension on your D1000. There's going to be this extension right here, and then you're going to put this six, like, hole where the screws go, and then there's a silver part underneath. It looks like this. Hold on. It looks like... Oh, it's on the other side. It, it looks like this. I was getting confused if that goes underneath or on top, so make sure the white part goes on top. So, we put the bottom parts together first and I thought that we had to put the 10 inch connection to the other one but it might be easier if we put them all together so that's the rear with all the um, adjustments like the belt speed and the heat temperature and this is the front when you put it together you know those wood 2x4s that we got in the box put it underneath these rotors right here because it leans like towards the ground and then it's hard to connect that 10 inch. So those will keep it up so you can screw the screws on the side. So progress right now, we got the bottom finally. Um, so for the screws, it's gonna be the flat top, not the pointy top. And the way that we did it was putting the screws at least like halfway on both sides. So this side and this side, and then screwing it all the way. Yeah, it, I, it probably took me a while. I wanna say maybe like 15, 20 minutes. So I didn't record it. And now we're, look, we're working on the tunnel. Then you're gonna wanna 
want to take this out because the screw was on there. Take that one out and then put this on there. Uh, where is it? This side. And have it face this way and screw them all in. Then you take the heater and the silver part on the top and make sure that these holes are aligned with each other and make sure the sides right here are tight before you do it because I put it on top and then it went all the way down. So lock those in and then you need these to lock them in and screw them in. He said it does not matter. It does not matter. But like which way should it go? <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it this way. Okay, okay, there. We're gonna do this one because yeah. he said it does not matter. It does matter. not matter. Ah! <laughs> okay, cool. I'll put that so in there. One there, and then he said there's one. There. Girl, he lying. Is he lying? <sighs> All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like uh, I'm in a terrorism movie, <laughs> like, and they're like, cut the green. Cut the green cord. And, cord. and I'm God, colorblind. Which, like, which one? <laughs> Fuck. You know what I mean? So, like, how do you know which one? Oh, you got it. I think I you freaking got it. We got the belt on. We got the belt on. Okay. There's a little bit of friction here. We were worried about it, but apparently it's not a problem. Which sounds suspicious, but okay. Uh, yeah, on to whatever the next step is. Okay. Yay. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, what the? Oh. Oh, hell no. Are you serious? Are you fucking with me? No. No. Man. No, let me no, see. No, man, Chase. No! Okay, so uh, when you get a D1000, make sure you get a uh, 120 volt, 20 amp NEMA 520R receptacle. Because they don't make that shit anymore. Not anymore? Or is it? It's probably new. I don't know. We're I don't dumb. Know. So. We fixed the problem. We got an adapter. And guess what? It works. The D1000 is in action. It works. 